This video will demonstrate the procedure for branding your name servers and setting them as default name servers. This branding exercise helps extend your brand image to the web services that you provide and enhances your company's image as an independent business entity. When you sign up as a reseller with us, you use a partially branded name servers by default. However, we recommend that you fully brand your name servers and use them as the default name servers instead. So let's first have a look at how you can use your partially branded name servers. For this, you will need to log into your reseller control panel and go to Settings, Name Service. Here, you have the option of selecting the partially branded name service. The four partially branded name servers that we provide you with are off the form only for demo.mercury.otterbox-dns.com, only for demo.venus.otterbox-dns.com, and so on. Partially branded name servers limits the branding to only the prefix. Therefore, in this case, you would only be able to modify the prefix only for demo. Now that you're familiar with the partially branded name servers, let's have a look at how you can fully brand your name servers. This is a two-step process. One, add A records. Two, creating child name servers. Now let us have a look at how you can go about doing this. Coming back to the same name servers page, you will need to select the Use a Branded Name Servers option and then specify the name servers of your choice in the text box. For this demonstration, let us assume you wish to brand your name servers using onlyfordemo.com as the domain name. For this, you would have to add the following name servers in the text boxes provided below ns1.onlyfordemo.com, ns2.onlyfordemo.com, and so on. After clicking the Make Changes button, the next step would be to add three A records for the name servers added in the text above. For ns1.onlyfordemo.com, you will need to create three A records, each pointing to a unique IP address. Similarly, for ns2.onlyfordemo.com, you will need to create three A records, each pointing to a unique IP address. Thus, you would be adding 12 A records in all. Now that we have added the relevant A record, the next step is to create child name servers. Child name servers are name servers which are registered with the registry under your domain name. Let's have a look at how you can create child name servers. To begin with, you will need to access the management console for the domain name onlyfordemo.com. Here, click on the Manage Child Name Servers button. Then, for ns1.onlyfordemo.com, you would need to add three IP addresses with the same host name pointing to the IP addresses assigned in the previous step. Similarly, for ns2.onlyfordemo.com, you would need to add three IP addresses with the same host name, and so on. This successfully completes the process of fully branding your name servers. Please note, you can use any name that you may choose as a prefix for naming your name servers. Also, you must create a minimum of two name servers when attempting to fully brand your name servers. Now the final step would be to make these name servers as your default name servers. After which, all web services purchased by your customers will use your newly branded name servers by default. This can be done from your reseller control panel by going to Settings, Products, Domain Registration, Default Name Server Info. Here in the text box provided, enter the new fully branded name servers that you have just created and click on the submit button. We have just shown you how to fully brand your name servers and set them as your default ones. If you need any further assistance for this or any other module, you may refer to our comprehensive knowledge base as well as various other videos that we have compiled for you. Thank you.